Hey all, I want to talk to you about a, uh, a skull mount that made its way to me just recently that I am uh, really excited about for a couple reasons and I'm going to show you. Um, Krennic skull mounts. Casey Krennic out of Texas has manufactured this mount about a year ago. He's trying to get it going. Sent me a few of them to uh, give it a go. Give it my two cents because I do a bunch of skull work and see what I think. And it's incredibly versatile and I want to show you today how this very, very competitively priced bracket will be a great asset for your trophy room. So once you've secured your bracket to the wall, simple and easy, you just slide the upturned portion of the bracket right in the brain hole and it sits perfectly level. Now that's probably a terrible example because this deer is all pretty lopsided in general. But what I like about this bracket is if I want to change the tilt of the animal, if I want it to be further down, I can just give it a little pressure and change it. So if you may have seen before uh, in some of the other videos, I like to take the back of the skull and cut it at a 45, get it in the position I want and then screw a panel to it. It's a difficult process and I, because of this bracket have completely eliminated doing that this just disappears and I don't destroy the panel by drilling it any funny way in case somebody wanted to reuse it I just screw that bracket right to the panel and then slide the deer right on it and I've got my perfect panel mount the bracket just goes away it's clean I can actually pull it off I can dust it and clean it annually if I ever move or have to ship it this is two parts if it's fixed like this, I need a box that's giant. If it's separate, I can lay them together. Plus, I can transfer animals if I don't have a bunch of space. It's really, really a versatile, neat bracket, and it's flush against the wall. I think that's probably the thing that's the most unique. There's a lot of people out there that have brackets, a lot of good ones, but they all protrude off the wall and become uh, too large, I think. So this one, simple easy if you live in an earthquake environment where you're worried about it shaking and falling off the wall just simply run a zip tie up underneath the bracket in the back of the skull another thing cool about this bracket is it will accommodate the mountain mike's replicas so if you've got a big set of sheds and you're going to put a, a fake skull on it it'll just go right on you'll have your sheds just look like a really sharp european also works very good for pigs, bears. Just zip tie your jaw shut or epoxy your jaw on. It'll even work for your small game. Coyotes, bobcats, things of that nature. And again, if you want to adjust it, just move your tabs down or move your tabs up. If you want to make that coyote look a little more attractive, you can just move those tabs down, move them up. Really, really, really versatile. Made of 16 gauge steel, professionally powder coated. Just a great, great bracket. I will put the link in the description for the bracket. Uh, give them a go. I think they're gonna be priced about as competitive as any bracket on the market, or maybe even a little cheaper. Thanks for watching.